operating surgeon is Dr. Shri Ganesh. Sir so will be operating on a 59-year-old female, left eye. Patient doesn't have any systemic illness. The grading of cataract is NO3 to 4 with cortical cataract. And plus 20 diapro hoya geometric lens will be implanted. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the OR. Now you should have asked for it. <laughs> but your rexus was like a femtorexus. So congratulations on that. Okay, so now we are starting with a 59 year old, you can see a patient with like a grade three plus cataract. The femtorexis is already done. I like to do the femtorexis um, because you get a perfect capsulorexis and a nice 360 degree overlap. It's a 5 mm rexis. And um, we are going to use a 20 diopter Hoya geometric plus. This is the left eye of the patient. So we are using a geometric plus. So I like to use a, make the side port with a 1 mm diamond blade. I use this to stabilize the eye. And I use, this is a 2.3 or 2.4 mm keratome. And it's like triplanar. I go in, dip down. Again, raise slightly so that I don't get a chevron incision. You get a nice, like, squarish incision. And then you can see the rexus is already done. I put in visco and then I depress in the center that releases the side. Okay. You can see the sides are released. And as you push in and just it creates a vacuum and then you can just pull out the rexus. So I don't use a forceps. So my principle is economy of moments. This is the hydro dissection. Go with the hydro cannula underneath. And you see the poster fluid wave. You see the nucleus rising and decompress. And with the cannula, it freely rotates. See? So you just need to do that one step hydro dissection. And then you put in viscoelastic. And I'll be, I'm using the quatera and with parameters of 700 vacuum in uh, vacuum mode. That means like it acts like a venturi pump. And this is the new tip for the Quatera. It's a uh, 45 degree bent tip, like the Kalman tip. Goes in through a 2.2 mm incision. Light nodi, sir. Light and water. I'm using a 1.25 sharp chopper. I'm going to do a direct chop. So you start at the edge of the rexis. I'm using the APM quad here. Bury sufficiently. Then hold the vacuum and bring the tip towards the center. It's a denser cataract, you can see. You can do sequential burying. And then you have to split the nucleus. You can see I'm at the peak of vacuum. You can see it's 200 and 629 vacuum. Uh, because uh, Bangalore has a higher altitude, it doesn't go to 700 vacuum even if you set it. Because we all know that vacuum depends upon the atmospheric pressure and altitude. So rotate, again bury, chop. Okay, and then I just have one parameter. Bring it to the safe zone, which is the center. And you can see that the followability is excellent, chamber stability is excellent. I've removed one quadrant this is the second quadrant again you'll have to separate the piece fully if it's attached it will not come up to the center then again you can again chop it into smaller pieces and you can see that the followability is quite good you can go full on on the vacuum press down on the foot pedal adequate phaco energy 
APM is advanced pulse modulation. So it is a pulse modulation to improve followability and efficiency. So this is again, you can see the last piece also. I don't actually reduce the vacuum. And you can see that the chamber is extremely stable. That's the last piece. Sometimes there's a small piece sticking at the side port. You need to kind of just push that. And you can see that. I like to use a coaxial IA because it's more efficient. Just a minute, Visco. You can see that sometimes the small fragments which Basically, see if there is a small fragment and you go in with your IA, then you will not be able to remove it. So you have to check. And then I like to kind of use the FACO for removing that. Then I use a coaxial IA. I like the coaxial IA because it's more efficient, you can go to higher vacuums. Again, vacuum is around nearly 700 here, and I do the hurricane technique where I go 360 degrees around. Quite please. That's the sub incisional cortex. Most people have difficulty removing the sub cortex, but if your flow rate is high enough, then the followability is good, and you can remove the sub cortex. You can see still there is visco there. I like to do a little bit of hydro polish to kind of clean the posterior capsule. Okay, now if your incision is perfect, as you hydrate the side port, you can see that the pressure is maintained, the AC is formed very well, okay? And this is the, the Hoya geometric plus, which has a differential light distribution. The geometric is, has more light distribution for distance. Geometric plus has more light distribution for reading. This is the best in class injector from Hoya, it's called the multi -cert. You put in viscoelastic, fill the viscoelastic there, and then after that, there is a block here which you just lift off, and then you just push this plunger forward and lift it off the case. And like Dr. Ramoti said, you can either use the, the uh, screw type or the plunger, here I'm going to use the plunger. You can see that it's uh, nicely folded the lens in the cartridge. And you can either use a wound assisted or uh, in the wound injection. If you want to use a wound assisted, you just pull this um, guard forward. Okay. So what I'm going to do is what I'm showing you is insertion under BSS because I don't use an irrigating cannula and uh, I just form the AC with BSS. You can see I form the AC with BSS. I just go in through the wound and inject it, light a note diary, into the capsular bag. Okay. It opens up smoothly. Then I just go in with my coaxial and just nudge it into the bag and there it is. You can see that it's beautifully centered. The lens opens up very quickly, unlike some of the other lenses, uh, which takes a long time. The unfolding time is quite good, so you don't waste time. And it's very important for torics because if the lens does not unfold fully uh, before you finish the surgery, you can have rotation and misalignment. And uh, also the other 
nice aspect is that the haptics do not stick to the optic. So I just put off irrigation and then come out. Uh, don't you think that uh, if the wound were released with leaky also, uh, this just using BSS alone and not no, using infusion? See, I don't even have to hydrate the wound. You can see it's well formed. But I will just show you how the wound is. See, it is quite no. tight. You can see that the lens is beautifully yeah. centered with a 360 degree overlap. Yeah. I just hydrate the sides. The other thing you can do is you can hydrate the bed. This is okay, and that closes the wound. And you can see it is so tight. Okay, light kansata more light. You can see the Perkinji images. Light nodi more light to Kannalasbari. Light nodi. You can see that the Perkinji images are exactly in the center of the optic. So it's a 3.2 mm diffractive zone. Yeah. And uh, you can see it's beautifully centered. This is very important. And now we will look at the OCT and then that will kind of clarify uh, Dr. Chitra's query about the wound. No, I wasn't questioning your wound. No, 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 I'm just I showing you. Uh -huh. See, I created a, like a triplanar yeah. with a blade. So you can see that that is a wound. You can see the OCT there. You can see the wound, there is no gape, even the internal lip is perfectly sealed. Yes. So even if you stand on this eye, it's not going to open. Mm. <laughs> okay, and uh, since I have not used bimanual IA, the side ports are not stretched. So you can see that it's perfectly centered, the wound is very stable, the AC is well formed. So that's the end of the surgery. Thank you very much, dear friends. Thank you. Any questions? Uh, no. You, I think you, all the questions to be asked was answered by you. So, very well done, Sarji. Thank you. Thank you, Chitra. Thank you, sir. Watching Dr. Sri Ganesh operate is always a treat.